Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. She's right. We're all about your space, your home and surroundings, but what if your space and home has to move? Yeah, moving is not anyone's idea of fun, but there is a way to help make it go smoothly and cost effectively. Coming up on today's show. Planning an interior remodel? New kitchen cabinets, flooring, perhaps even stone countertops. Well, we have something coming up to help you make decisions before committing to those big ticket items. And we'll look at a home construction material that can contribute to reducing your utility bill. Wait, we're going to save some money? Oh, yes, we are. Love it. Also, we have some new concepts in roofing that contribute to a more attractive and even more efficient home. So, homeowners, stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. What do you say we go from the roof to the rest of the house and take a closer look at home construction? Sounds good. Well, ICF construction methods and materials offer safer, stronger homes that can contribute to savings in energy consumption, a reduction in allergens and dust in the home, and living a greener lifestyle. Unfortunately, not many of us are aware of ICF mm -hmm. home construction. So, to get the lowdown, here's David Crow in Litchfield Park, Arizona. We all want our new homes to look good, be strong and well-constructed, be safe, and cost-effective. However, nowadays, construction companies and homeowners are also concerned with the impact their home may have on the environment. Engineers and architects have pushed beyond traditional wood frame home construction, and the results are creating a new generation of both environmentally friendly homes and happy homeowners. The home you see constructed behind me is a perfect example. And with us today, we have Athena Davis from the award-winning national manufacturer of build block building system, ICFs, to share with us what is going into this new home that makes it so different from traditional home construction materials. Athena, thanks for coming out to be in Designing Spaces. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited today to show you exactly what an ICF structure can do. We at Build Block want to educate the public that you can build with an ICF and achieve things like energy efficiency, sustainability for the environment, environmental friendly structure, and one that has better air filtration, giving you better air quality, so a healthier environment for your family. So today, I hope I can educate you on all the benefits of building with an ICF structure. ICF, what exactly is that? And better yet, can you show us what they are? Well, I'll tell you what, a lot of people ask that. Why don't I go over here and we'll show you what one is and I'll tell you all about it. Sounds great. Go. you the basics of an ICF. Okay. First you have two and a half inches of expanded polystyrene on either side of what we call a web. This web acts as two things. One, embedded in the block is the web which acts as your furring strip. And then you have these fingers which are the rebar fingers. And as you can see, the rebar is what gives your concrete its strength. Obviously giving the structure strength. <laughs> so We've made it easy so that you can actually put the rebar in the fingers. Once you have all of that, you add concrete. And this stays in place. What you have is an insulated concrete wall. Now, you mentioned ICF is environmentally friendly as well. Can you give us some details on that? Yeah, I want you to think about this. Do you have two and a half inches of insulation on either side of a monolithic structure of concrete? So not only do you have insulation on both the interior and exterior, but you also have thermal mass working for you as well. 
Wow, I've never seen anything like this. Now, why would someone use ICF as opposed to traditional methods? There are a number of reasons. One, it's environmentally friendly. Second, it reduces your energy cost. Third, it's a healthier environment. And fourth, it's safer. Now, you mentioned safe. How is ICF construction safer than uh, more traditional homes? The concrete. The concrete that's reinforced by the rebar in the concrete. Government tests show that if you live in an ICF structure, that the ICF is hurricane resistant, tornado resistant, earthquake resistant, and fire resistant. You can't think of a better structure to keep your family safe. Impressive. Now, does the ICF actually insulate the home from outside temperatures? It sure does. You know in the morning when you wake up and it's cold outside so it's cold in your home? And in the evening it's warm outside so it's warm in your home? Well with an ICF structure because of the insulation on the interior and exterior and the concrete in the middle with the thermal mass properties, you do not get that fluctuation in temperature. So it doesn't matter where you live. If it's cold outside or hot outside, you're not going to feel that temperature fluctuation inside an ICF structure. So you don't have to utilize energy to either cool or heat your house. It's also going to create an environment that is more friendly to you in your home. Well, it sounds like the family living here will definitely have a nice environment to live in. What are some of the other benefits? Outside the environmental and economic benefits, there also is the reduction of air filtration with an ICF system. So if you have allergies, that's going to create a healthier environment for your family. Wow, sounds like a, a potential for a healthier lifestyle. Absolutely. Well, now that we've seen how an ICF home is built, let's go look at the finished product. I can't wait. Let me go show you one. Wow, what a great house. Now, this was built using Bill Block ICF construction? It sure is. Let's go meet the homeowner. Hi, Gary. This is David Crow from Designing Spaces here to see your new home. Great. Come on in. Gary, thanks so much for letting us stop by. You have a beautiful home here. Um, what was it that made you decide to go with Bill Block ICF construction? Well, I first seen the ICF construction at about 15 years ago at a home and garden show. And I just really liked the strength, the durability, and the efficiency of building with ICF. And then soon we discovered that there were no limits to the design. And with today's energy and environmental challenges, it just seemed the right way to go. And what was the first thing you noticed, the biggest difference between this and other homes that you've lived in uh, once you got moved in and settled? Um, how quiet it is. With the outside noise, the traffic, and the air base about a mile away, um, the build block ICF walls just lock the noise out. Well, it really seems like you've accomplished building your dream home. Yes, I have. Thank you. Well, I've gotten quite the education today. Could you run through just the, the finer points one more time of the build block ICF? Absolutely. There are five major benefits to build block ICFs. Safety, energy efficiency, betterment of lifestyle, return on your investment, and longevity of structure, and most importantly, it's environmentally friendly. Now, if our viewers wanted to find out more, how would they go about that? What's the website? Billblock.com. There, you're going to find out everything you need to know about building a house with Billblock ICX. Athena, Gary, thanks so much for taking the time to share this new technology and home building with us. Thank you. Thank you. And we will also have a link to Build Block on our site, designingspaces.tv, where you can choose to see this portion of the episode again. In Phoenix, Arizona, I'm David Crow for Designing Spaces. You know, we've seen some really interesting topics on today's show, and for anyone considering a new home or getting started on major renovations, it would be great if we could squeeze in just one more in today's show. Do we have time? Do we? 
No. Oh, we are out of time, but have no fear. We have more coming up in the near future. So this is Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.